Hey everybody, it's Ken Davenport. Welcome back to the Whiteboard Workshop, the longest running whiteboard workshop series on the web. That's it, the longest running. The only one, but also the longest running we're going to claim. That's a little marketing tip, that's a little extra we're just throwing in for you. Episode number 17 of the Whiteboard Workshop, uh, and today's a very exciting one. We we're actually shooting this workshop on the very day we've announced our brand new theater festival. This summer, the beginning of August, the Rave Theater Festival. What do you think? You like the name? I hope so, because I came up with it. And it was a bit of a debate here in my office. So comment below, let me know if you like the name Rave Theater Festival. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, five tips on submitting to a festival and getting in. Uh, and these tips can be used, of course, for my festival, as well as Nymph, The Fringe, theater festivals all over creation. Uh, use these tips to give yourself a little bit of a leg up on getting in, okay? So if you're ready, here we go. Number one, submit early, like as early as you can, okay? Theater festivals get inundated with scripts and our readers are just a little bit more fresh at the beginning, right? And they also have nothing to compare you to. So when they read that script, the scripts at the beginning, they're gonna be more likely to put you in the yes file. Same thing is true for auditioning, by the way, show up to auditions early, okay? Number two, have team in place. Now, remember, we want to have great productions as a part of our festival, like that's what every festival wants, just again, it's just like auditioning. We want great actors to come in the door. We wanna know the shows are gonna be produced well and come off well to audiences. Uh, that is better when there is a creative team in place. So if you have a shot or a place where you can say, oh, we have a director, a choreographer, da 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 festival directors, we just feel much more secure that the show is gonna come off because that's less time you have to spend finding that team, okay? Number three, materials. Formatting. Ah, and first rate, your script make sure it's formatted with proper script formatting rules, okay? It just is much easier for our folks to digest. They're gonna to have to read a lot of stuff, and if you get to the finalist phase and get to me or any of the other juries of any festivals that you're submitting to, you want us to be able to read it nice and clearly and it look like the other scripts, okay? So formatting of your script is very important. That is an R, not an M. Uh, next, your demos. We've talked about this in my demo whiteboard workshop. Go back and read that if you want, but just make sure they're very clear. If you can, do some electronic instrumentation, a really good sound recording. Get a voice that we've heard before. Okay, make sure your demos are first class. Don't just record it in your apartment on a bad microphone with your phone. Uh, I mean, that's better than nothing, but you are not gonna stand out. Remember, you can't think of your script. That's the general rule to all this. Don't think of your script as just being by itself. You could be one of hundreds and hundreds of scripts being submitted to these festivals, okay? Make sure yours stands out, okay? The fourth tip we have for you today is make sure your script or your cover letter makes it feel or seem that your show is gonna come off well at the festival. I know that's a bit of an ambiguous tip, but I, you know, festivals are very unique theater producing environments, right? You have sometimes a shorter running uh, time than other than your show may be. Your set has to come up and come down quickly. You are sharing a space. We want to make sure that if your script has 20 people in it, that's going to be difficult to produce at a festival. That's okay. Still submit, but just somehow demonstrate why it's going to come off well. Is it a minimalistic uh, setting? You have fewer set pieces. Just try to put that into the script, okay? We want to know that it's suitable for festival production. Uh, and this very specifically is one of the reasons my very first show, Alter Boys, came off well at the New York Musical Theater Festival because it was five people, one set, and the set was a sign, right? That's it. And it was a story of a bunch of guys uh, doing shows at crappy little theaters, right? And we had a small little fringy like theater. Okay, so it made sense there. Try to make it in your script that it makes sense for festival viewing, okay? And the last one, and this, it's suitable that it's last, the last one is 
this is a secret of festivals, okay? So don't tell any of the other festivals I told you this. But if you are up against the deadline, or even if you miss the deadline, okay? If you miss the deadline, call, email for second chance. Festivals want their festivals to be great, right? They want them to be great. So sometimes, even if the extension of the deadline has passed, if that festival hasn't found a whole bunch of great shows, they may just sneak yours in, okay? Big, deep, dark, dirty secret. It just means don't leave any stone unturned. If you miss it for whatever reason, make sure you call. No guarantees. And by the way that our submissions are flooding in already, we're not going to be able to accept any late, late ones. Um, but it's worth a call. Everything's always worth a call. In this business and in life, it's worth a shot just in case you miss it. Okay? Those are my five tips. Submit early. Have your team in place if you can. Make sure your materials are formatted correctly, your script, and your demos are first rate. Try to position your show as being suitable for a festival production and all the unique elements of a festival production. Uh, and then if you miss the deadline, don't hesitate to call an email and say, hey, can I get just a little bit of an extension? Uh, it works. Just don't tell anyone about that. Those are my five tips for submitting to a festival and getting in. Uh, there are lots of great festivals coming up, including mine. Rave. Rave. Theater. Festival. Say it with me, dot com. Go check it out. Submissions are open. We would love to have your show at our festival, so submit. Uh, we want you to be one of our 5,000 by 25. So I hope to see your submission in our inbox very shortly. Thanks for watching episode number 17 of the Whiteboard Workshop, and we will see you for 18.